Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we're talking some Black Templars and the growing cult of High Chaplain Grimaldus. General spoiler warning to begin as the events we're discussing today are from across the Warhammer 40k universe, so you have been warned. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. Now for some reason lately, I've really been beginning to feel the call of the Templars, starting my own crusade of Marshall Row. And it was as I was having another browse through the Black Templars Codex that something really began to play on my mind. And that was the rising cult of Grimaldus. Now anyone familiar with High Chaplain Grimaldus will be familiar with the events of Hell's Reach. The novel Hell's Reach is an absolute classic, following the events of High Chaplain Grimaldus as he attempts to defend Hive Hell's Reach during the Second War for Armageddon. Though Grimaldus was initially outraged at the assignment, he gave absolutely everything in face of monumental odds. I mean, the man got a titan to walk to war through his sheer force of will. He and his Templars just absolutely refused, refused to die. If you've never read it, I cannot recommend it enough. It's an old school novel now, but it is an absolute gem. The author Aaron Dembski Bowden just delivers another one of his absolute knockouts. It's a little slower at the beginning, but by the end of it, oh, you will feel like you've lived the defense of Hell's Reach yourself. However, I digress. It's in this event that Grimaldus earned his reputation as the hero of Hell's Reach. Crawling from the rubble of a temple, in the aftermath of the final climactic battle, the very roof having caved in as the Templars made their final stand. Grimaldus became a symbol of the Emperor's defiance, and to the people of Hell's Reach, the embodiment of his protection. So I guess it's little wonder the hero of Hell's Reach would forever be exalted in their eyes, being proclaimed as their saviour, the man who somehow led them to victory against all the odds. However, the problem is, it hasn't merely stayed there. With the fall of Cadia and the rise of the Cicatrix male dictum, the Great Rift, the Imperium was plunged into darkness, the likes of which hasn't been seen since the heresy itself. Perhaps not even then, as the ruinous powers were truly unleashed. You may think a world such as Armageddon would be well placed against such threats, and in some ways you could be correct. It is a world so immersed in the ways of war after all. However, in others, the people of the world are just as susceptible as any other, and the fear of the darkness that comes preys on the soul. There is no world within the entire Imperium immune to the whispers of chaos, not even the throne world itself. More and more uprising and cults, all in the name of the ruinous powers, are being found, revealing themselves from the shadows on world after world. And in the face of such threat, how do the people of the Imperium respond? With faith. And uniquely here, the people of Hell's Reach haven't just been praying to the immortal God Emperor for salvation, but to Grimaldus, the hero of Hell's Reach. Within the latest Black Templars Codex, there's a real interesting little passage revealing this information. 
explaining that all over Armageddon, subcults and creeds have begun to arise. Not in the name of the ruinous powers, but instead, loyal servants seeking salvation. And perhaps as you might expect in this situation, it's to their hero the people of Hell's Reach are turning, in particularly large numbers. The passage tells us they gather all about the site of the old temple of the Emperor Ascendant. They light huge pyres onto which they toss, those unfortunates they have rounded up and accused of witchery, mutation or heretical fault. Many dig ceremonial graves and then cover them over with shrouds of industrial tarpauling. The belief being that, just as he reputedly dug his grave in the temple's grounds once before, High Chaplain Grimaldus might rise from such a ritual pit, now to defend the people. Now, ever since I read this, I've found it pretty intriguing, but it's actually as I've begun rereading the Dark Imperium trilogy again that it's made my mind wonder even more so. A large aspect of the Dark Imperium's narrative is the Emperor's growing power the growing sightings of his saints at work, appearing more and more on battlefields across the Imperium. Gilliman admits he's not the best of his brothers to be able to answer the question of what exactly they are. Mentioning his brother Magnus would have certainly been able to tell him instead. However, it's Gilliman's guess, the saints are psychers, whose faith in the Emperor somehow stabilizes their power, obviously outright refusing at the time to consider it could actually be his father at work. However, since then, we know he may be more opening to the idea. And this has all had my mind wondering before once again coming across this cult of Grimaldus. While Grimaldus is most certainly no psyker, he is a believer. A believer in the God Emperor. He has faith. And no, don't cue the George Michael. Grimaldus' faith is so strong, few could rival it. Filling him with the determination to crawl from the rubble of Hell's Reach. To defy death. So do we have to ask the question here, if Grimaldus could possibly become the first Astarte saint? Because it may not be so incredulous as it once may have sounded. We know the Emperor is fueled by the faith of humanity. We know his believers are exhibiting signs of his power more and more often. Saints are appearing on worlds again and again. The Sisters of Battle literally begin to glow in his light when they sing their battle hymns. And now, we have an Astarte just as fervently loyal, just as worshipful, who is quite possibly already being worshipped himself, believed in, as a saint himself. How long until this belief is willed into life? How long until the Emperor blesses Grimaldus upon the battlefield? How long until Grimaldus erupts into golden light, the voice of his God Emperor ringing in his mind? The Templar Marshals already believe they are guided by the Emperor's visions. They already anoint their champions after such an event. Who are we to say they are misguided? Indeed, in this current Imperium, it appears they have been right all along. It appears it's not merely a matter of could we see a Black Templar Saint, a true risen saint, but when? And High Chaplain Grimaldus 
could just be that man. When and where could this all transpire? Well, while Grimaldus fights on any world needing the Emperor's protection, it's undisputable Armageddon seems to be particularly tied to the High Chaplain's fate. Should the next true war for Armageddon begin to erupt, who would bet against the Templars returning to the blighted world once more? Who would bet against the hero of Hell's Reach leading the charge? For all the disdain he'd no doubt have at being seemingly worshipped himself as a saviour, we've seen time and again, there's little any man can do to change the blind faith that operates within the people. The mere appearance of this legendary saviour, once more within the ruined world that is Armageddon, let alone within the ruins of Hell's Reach, could just be enough to ignite the spark of faith to a whole nother level. And well, with a certain demon Primarch about to return, one who's not only brought death and destruction to this world once before, who was very nearly summoned there once again, who would really write off another appearance from the Chosen of Corn once more? The fate of Armageddon, the fate of Grimaldus, Saint Grimaldus, could just be about to get very interesting. But as always everyone, what do you think? Is this worship of Grimaldus going to lead to better things? Or is it leading down a darker path? Could Grimaldus one day be the first ever Astarte saint? A true space marine version of Celestine herself. How will Grimaldus react when he learns of this cult? The very people he once saved, worshipping him as a saviour, placing their faith in him. As always everyone, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.